Oh my gosh, we're live. Hello, everybody. It's 7 p.m. in Los Angeles, California. Thursday night. It's the end of the month. Wow, mới đó mà gần tháng hai rồi đó quý vị ơi. How is everybody? Little music, little music. I know that a lot of people are looking forward to tonight's show. Nhưng mà I have to tell you something ahead of time, nha. Yeah? Hold on, it's my favorite spot. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta tell you something. Because... Phải nói trước. Phải nói trước. Phải nói trước cho quý vị. So you will learn English. But I may not be able to translate everything into Vietnamese. Bởi vì hôm nay mình sẽ nói về skin care and some beauty stuff. And sometimes there is no translation. Okay? Hello, Lin and Phan. Okay, everybody. If you're watching from the United States, let me see a one. And uh, who's watching from Vietnam? Who's watching from Vietnam? Hello, Vietnam. Peace. Two for Vietnam. Okay. And I know you may have some questions. So, nếu mà quý vị có câu hỏi gì đó, you know what to do. Put it in comments. Okay, we'll take a look at your, your questions. So, I hope that you're all doing well. It has been a little chilly here in California. We're wimps. Wimps. Quý vị biết chữ đó không? Wimps. Let me show you what that is. Wimps. Wimps. I don't know how to translate that. Nhưng mà when you make fun of someone, là, you know, cái, 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 um, cái sức chịu đựng của họ không có được cao đó. You know, they're wimpy, wimps. That's what we are in California. Okay? Đến sáu mươi mấy độ là thấy lạnh rồi. Bắt đầu complain rồi đó. Yes. William Fox It's great to see me back. Hey, it's good to be back. It is good to be back. Hello, everyone. Um, happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great New Year. Wow. It's 17 degrees in Chicago. Okay. I'm going to stop complaining then. I'm going to stop complaining. Có người đang coi từ Việt Nam nè. Very good. So here's the good thing. It doesn't matter where you are. Okay. Quý vị đang ở, ở Việt Nam hoặc là ở Mỹ hoặc là ở, I don't know. Sometimes we get people from Japan and Cambodia, wherever you are. The topic tonight is of interest to everybody. Everybody. Because we're going to talk about aging. Hồi trước, uh, cách đây mấy tháng, oh, maybe not mấy tháng, maybe maybe hai tháng, Lina có nói chuyện về um, skin care. And I am doing everything I can to try to stay young looking. And if anyone tells me they don't care about looking young or they don't care about looking good, you lying. I know you lying right there. Everyone wants to look good, right? Yeah. Well, it might be more important to some people than others. And so when you're on camera all the time, It's kind of important. It's kind of important. Hi, honey. Hey, honey. Okay, thank you. Oh, doi, doi. My ông xã just gave me some uh, some uh, tea and uh, bánh. Pineapple oh, pineapple cake. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, rất là thích, rất là thích cái comment này nè. I'm sight. I'm sight. You know your slang. And I love it. Quý vị thấy không? If you know just a few slang words and you use it correctly, man, you just upped. You just upped your English game. I love it. Okay, we got someone from Canada. Mm. Wow, trời có lạnh thiệt á. But we're wimps here. We're wimps. You know what else I'm a wimp at? I have no pain tolerance. Like if I have to get a shot, be chích ngừa, you know, flu shot này kia đó. Oh man, it's a big deal. Hồi trước đi làm là nó bắt phải là chích flu. 
Hangnam, because I, I go out and I meet so, so many people. Everyone knows when Lena's about to get her shot because I scream and I get so nervous. Quý vị có khi nào mà mình, mình sợ đến nỗi mình nó, like my blood pressure goes up. And it's always worse than it really is. Nhưng mà I don't have pain tolerance. You love the cup. Where did I get it? Net app? I uh, I did the, um, you know, like Apple, mỗi năm Apple, nó có cái big meeting, and then Tim Cook gets up on stage and he talks like that. Well, when the pandemic happened, people couldn't get together anymore. So we had to do it online. And I was the one who... Um, Uh, who was the, uh, I, I hosted it. I was the moderator. So we had like the CEO of Google and Microsoft and IBM. And, and before that, I didn't even know what a net app was. Yeah. Um, I got more, I got more than just the coffee cup for doing that, by the way. Yeah. Google has a little money. Okay. Mm. Rồi quý vị có excited không? Hôm nay mình sẽ nói chuyện với... Um, First of all, let me tell you something about this doctor I'm about to introduce. When I met him, I didn't know how much we had in common. Okay? We both grew up in Minnesota. He's the only other person who like really does like the Vikings. Bless his heart. Um, với là người Việt Nam nữa. So I was so excited to meet someone who was uh, from Minnesota. He's a little nervous. So be nice, everybody. He's a little, bác sĩ mà, đâu có, you know, YouTube and Facebook Live này kia. So he's a little nervous. So you better make him feel right at home. So I'm just going to bring him up here now so that we can talk about this thing that you guys are so excited about talking about. Now, I forgot all the sounds. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Are you yes. ready? Dr. Kwa Nguyen. Hello. Wait, Hello, wait, everyone. Oh, look. Thank the crowd loves you. The crowd loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so happy to be here with you, Lena. And it's uh, we definitely have a lot of common. Minnesota is um, home of the Vikings, the best team, right? Yeah, that, Not, yeah. Almost. Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost did it this year. You know what? It it hurts to be a Vikings fan. Yeah. A lot of ups and downs. Uh mostly downs. But yeah. anyway, so welcome to our show. Um Thank you. I have to tell our audience that I've been wanting to do some kind of content on on skincare and beauty. You know, rất là nhiều người hỏi là uh, tại sao chị không làm cái uh, cái you know, like those makeup tutorial này kia đó. Nhưng mà like I mình làm đại cho biết gì đâu mà làm tutorial. Um, but when people hear how old I am, they're always very surprised. And so they they ask if I do something special. And actually, I wish that I took my skincare more seriously long ago. Như vậy là thực sự là mình đợi hơi hơi lâu, mình đợi hơi trẻ, mình mới bắt đầu là You know, sunscreen <laughs> mới bắt đầu là care về cái 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 um, làn da này kia đó. Nhưng better late than never. So I started looking for ways to, um, you know, take care of my skin. Villa, not only take care of it, but prevent it from getting wrinkly. And as much as I can, kind of, you know, slow down the aging process. Um, so there are many ways to look younger, right, doctor? Yes. I mean, we all should take care of our skin from the very beginning. I think a lot of people who have taken it for granted for a long time that think about our skin. I mean, we should think about it when you're in your 20s and 30s. Um, it's, you know, sun, UV, pollution, or harm our skin. So we always need to take a look at that. And, and that's also a sign of health, good health. If you have good skin, people really know that you're healthy. So it's a first impression for everybody. Uh, taking care of your skin, it's, a, it's something that you can see uh, as you meet somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it has to do with your health, it's not just what you put on your skin, it's what you put into your body, yeah. right? Correct. That's why, that's why, and I tell my daughter all the time, mm -hmm. French fry, you know, make it home, you know, 
like McDonald's and macaroni and cheese and chocolate and chips. And I tell her, that's going to affect your skin. Nhưng mà nó mới có mấy mấy tuổi nó không nghe, cho, chưa, chưa nghe lời được đâu. Um, so it's important to, you know, what you're putting into your body as as well. So yeah. that, but your the app- Nutrition and your exercise and, and drinking more, more water, all that stuff is, is, is definitely keep your skin healthy and plump. So if mm-hmm. you are not eating the right stuff, it's definitely affect your skin, um, sleeping habits, all those important things, as, as we know, aging also. It's not just a skin, just how you age and how uh, keep a body healthy. You mm-hmm. know, that's the main thing. Yeah. Um, look at this. They're already asking questions. D- don't take my job. Don't take my job. I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, in fact. <laughs> how to have a beautiful skin without surgery. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. First of all, um, you could have surgery, right? So those are what we would call invasive procedures. Right. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of things to to do to take care of your skin from just topical cosmetics, uh, routine skincare, take care of your skin by good washing, uh, exfoliating um, products. There's a lot of products out there. And then if you have, as you age, you get more wrinkles and line, there are uh, treatments available, including, as you probably know out there, laser treatment, microneedling, um, and the uh, modality things like thread, PDO prep threads, um, think Botox, those are all good modalities to treat the skin. So people do want to look younger. And, and so if you can't fight Mother Nature and you will never win, that these are things that you can do to, to get back the, at least some, some of your time, um, mm-hmm. make you look younger or a few years younger. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mm-hmm. let's say if you're talking on a, like a spectrum, so way mm-hmm. over here, like, uh, I would call extreme, right. extreme, right? Invasive, mm-hmm. uh, facelift, and I don't know what else they do. You mud, you know, when if you have to go under, to me, that's major, right? Yeah. And then there's all this stuff in the middle, and then there's the stuff that we're talking about that you can do right now, like right now, and that's the taking care of yourself. So that's the stuff that we all should be doing. Right. Yuma, if you don't do enough of the light stuff now, then later on in life, that's when you maybe have to consider. Correct. I mean, as, correct. Uh, as we get older, uh, we lose uh, something called collagen, uh, a, a very important compound that helps your skin looks younger and healthier and, and plumper. Uh, is that the word plumper? But um, the, 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 you know, as you as you get to the age of twenty, you start losing collagen, and and the estimate is you lose about one percent of collagen per year. So by the time you're fifty, you lose thirty percent of your collagen. By the time you're sixty, you lose forty percent. So it's one percent per year. And so as, as you as you see, as you're older, and and of course it's affected by by uh, genetics, by sun damage, smoking alcohol use, things like that. So we definitely have to think about these things. And, and when you're young, like I was young, I, would, I play tennis, outdoor, never thought about those things. And now you, we learn as you learn those things, it's, um, you see that it's so important, so vital that to keep your skin healthy uh, mm-hmm. in the long term. Well, here's the thing is we all know, right? Everyone yeah. knows what you're supposed to do, but you don't take it seriously until you start seeing the lines. That was my problem. I know I'm not supposed to phơi nắng, nhưng mà I love phơi nắng. Mm-hmm. Về Việt Nam mà cũng đi phơi nắng, they look at me like I'm crazy, right? We all get it. <laughs> yeah, and, and so, but we love, especially here in the Western lifestyle, we like to do those things. Villa, I don't drink enough water. I still don't mm-hmm. drink enough water. Mà cái đó là, là, là cái thói quen đó. Like my mom, she drinks a lot mm-hmm. of water and she's got great skin. And she's 70 right. something, you know? Yeah. So like my mom always says, tao già như vậy mà giá tao đẹp hơn giá mây. <laughs> 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 because I abuse my skin. So anyway, you were talking about um, some of it is hereditary, right? Correct. Okay. You know, things, I mean, aging can be hereditary. Some people uh, are very unlucky. Their skin do are very thin or they're, uh, they tend to appear older than the stated age. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, you, you have uh, pigmentation that may occur with aging. 
uh, if you a same person do have a son, one person can look older with the same amount of UV radiation just because they don't have the natural ability to fight the sun. Uh, there's a lot of important compound or uh, product in the skin that protects you. Uh, things like melanin, things like uh, just your normal ability to fight off uh, free radicals in the skin that help uh, prevent uh, injuries. Some people are not able to do that and they get uh, burned or they get injured much faster. So mm -hmm. it's definitely a genetic component in, in how people age. Okay, so let's talk about how, how we age and when it starts showing mm -hmm. on our face. What, what kind of stuff, like where does it normally start to show up? Yeah, a lot of times people have that, um, it's something called crow feet around the eyes. As you know, you usually see that when you get turn in your 30s and, and 40s. Um, people can have number 11, which is a line in the middle of your forehead. That one of those when you, you, you frown or you get upset, you see that from number 11. Or you can get the abnormal thickened left line or uh, more sagging skin. Uh, gravity takes an effect on your skin too. So you, you, your skin will kind of sag down and you will have that aging look. Uh, and the skin as well. So, mm -hmm. um, of course, you see a lot of people can have fine wrinkles and some people have very thick wrinkles. Um, mm -hmm. Some wrinkles you see naturally as uh, the static wrinkles, they just sit there, you see it, and some we see when you smile. So uh, mm -hmm. those are dynamic wrinkles around the eyes, especially you see those wrinkles very prominent when you smile or when yeah. you laugh. You know, just the other day, my friend said, Melina, you don't have kikainaina, and we're the same age. Um, <laughs> And and someone else on YouTube and they called it something in Vietnamese. I think they called it something like, bong uh, bong mắt hay hoa mắt hay gì đó. I I mm. if anyone knows, please put in comments. The crow's feet tiếng Việt kêu uh, nói là gì? Kêu sao? You know, yeah. khi mà mình lớn tuổi mình bắt đầu mình già rồi đó rồi. Nó bắt đầu đi nhăn đi đây. Nó, tiếng Việt mình kêu là gì? Um, kim and, and, uh, kim, uh, kim uh, uh, feet. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Was that crow? What how to say crow in Vietnamese? Um, I think my Vietnamese might be better than yours, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure it is. Uh, but yes, I don't. I don't. Luckily, I don't have that. Nhưng mà chân chim, nhấp nhăn, chân chim mà. Oh, bóng mắt. That's what someone mm. said. I thought it was bong. <laughs> Okay, so you know what we're talking about. Those right there. I fortunately don't have a lot of that yet. Um, and neither does my mom, and she's 70-something. Mm. Nhưng mà, I have uh, cái fine line đó. Cái đường nhanh mà nó mm. rất là nhỏ. All right, all right, 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 right here. Yeah. And, then, and then I have it up here, too. Okay? And then, like here, that's when you really start to see it. Right? right? And, you know, they call them uh, laugh lines or whatever. Uh, but yeah. sometimes even mấy người mà họ không có cười nhiều cũng bị luôn, you know. Um, okay, so those are the the ways that you know when your skin starts to show its age, that's where it shows up. Also around your lips, right? Mm -hmm. Make it you know, like that, the vertical on your lips. Yes, those are definitely as the the more sun damage you have, those lines appear very prominent. Um, and uh, yeah, there's ways to treat those things and um, non-invasively. So we're, we're gonna talk about that. I think it's important, someone explained this to me one time and I think it's important mm -hmm. to, to point out, right? La, uh, like when I found out that, if, all, first of all, almost all of my friends at work, where I used to work, all of them, then ông cũng vậy đó, họ xài Botox. And then when I found out, I was so surprised, I said, I didn't know you got Botox. And she said, yeah, I've been getting it since I was 30. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And the reasoning, la, la, they said, and you crease it and you get a line in there. It never actually totally goes away, right? And so what they try to do is they try to prevent it from creasing. And that's why they start young and then Blah blah blah. Nhưng mà mỗi lần mà họ đi chích Botox á, vô sở làm là mình nhìn mình biết liền à. Nó nó rất là mất tự nhiên, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about what we other things that we can do. Nhất là mấy người nhớ như Lina rất là sợ um, needles. Mm -hmm. I really am sợ needles. But <laughs> one of the things we're going to talk about today is micro needling. Hình như tiếng Việt kêu là 
Lan Kim phải không? Have you heard of that? Ừ. Yeah, it's called Lan Kim nhưng mà it's like ừ. the you know the old school, the do it yourself. Ừ. Right? Yeah, the rollers and the stamping or um you know, those are the old traditional microneedling. Yeah, they, I mean, we're talking about that. There are different methods to treat wrinkles and lines. Um, the, the most popular we have is microneedling. Uh, of course, laser treatments are, are very effective. Um, and we, we, you mentioned a little bit about Botox as well. So uh, microneedling is very, uh, one of my, my favorite treatment uh, to do. Um, fast, no downtime easy, you know, uh, people notice right away. It give you more permanent, more natural look without having a uh, frozen face kind of look with Botox. Uh, people uh, won't notice right away. There's time for it to, your, your skin to change. So then it's more gradual over a matter of weeks. And so you look like you didn't do anything. And that's what uh -huh. people want as well, yeah. So you look um, like rested. Like, like someone might look at you and say, oh, like you must be getting more sleep. You you look nice and rested, right? Okay. Right. So micro needling is um, if you haven't seen it, chắc chắc mấy uh, mấy uh, mấy chắc mấy chị trên đang coi chắc đã từng nghe rồi cái lăn kim. So you're you're poking your skin with needles. Can you explain yeah. like how like how does that work? Yeah. Why? So. The Yes, the, 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 the needles, are, first of all, it's not painful. <laughs> People actually ask about that. Um, traditional, uh, as you know, in the 80s and 90s came out these uh, more uh, pens or rollers that use uh, actually the same thing, they employ a micro needle uh, that you can use at home. Uh, those are not, uh, obviously, it's, it's going to be more painful, not control. We can't control death. What uh, have been more revolutionizing is now is that we have something called RF micro needling which is a, a combination of microneedling plus uh, rate of frequency, RF, heat. Uh, and it could be delivered through a, a um, energy device like what we have here at Virtue. It's basically something that uh, delivers the microneedles in a very controlled fashion, more of a robotic way. We just have to dial in the energy level, the depth of the needle, and how fast, how, how strong the, 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 the energy is delivered. Um, and we apply it to all the public skin, not just one area. And okay, in the process, you, yeah. Yeah, could you explain why it works? Well, the needle first, um, the, basically, they, it penetrates the epidermal layer and the dermis, and that produces a, a cascade reaction. Basically, um, it changes skin as a body heal. Your body wants to heal by repairing those tiny holes in your skin. And let's think of uh, that releasing a uh, myriad of chemical cascade, uh, we call like nutrients in skin. And that, that nutrients come down and help the skin produce uh, repairing cell, bridging the skin, producing more collagen, elastin. Uh, the heat from radio frequency is actually very important too because it's actually um, uh, tone or, or strengthen the, 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 the uh, the collagen and then give you more firm or uh, lift in the skin. So both combination of producing more collagen and producing lift the skin that actually help the skin look younger. Okay, so basically you're intentionally causing some damage and your body is then saying, oh my God, we need to go yeah. heal it, right? And it's, it's producing, it's trying to heal the skin, therefore kind of kicking up the production, right? And that's, yeah. and that's how that works and that's why that works. Correct, it's something that um, you, you're trying to um, exactly what you said. Have micro injury your skin, let the body heal by by making new skin, sort of. Mm -hmm. okay. is, is this so even men do it too, right? Yes, this is a man. One of my colleagues, he's a physician, and he's um, he's of course he's look he's older in his, his 60s, and he's here for treatment because he want to look younger, um, and he has more lines and wrinkles. That's a perfect candidate. Anyone with uh, with more line, deep lines. Those are the treatment option you can, can use besides laser as well. Okay, um, so I, you have some before and after pictures, and I want to take a, a, a look at that. Uh, everyone is going to ask, like, how often do you have to do it? I mean, can you can you really? Does anyone see results after just one treatment? You will see some improvement one treatment. We usually advocate a series of three treatments. Um, this is a person who is uh, in her forties, late forties. And she, you see as he has a deeper uh, laugh line and, and you see around the mouth. When you do microneedling, you can see that it's, it's making it less uh, uh, pronounced. Um, and, and, it's, and almost look like she 
basically reversed about five, ten years of her life right there. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is this, this after? after I, I believe this is after two treatments um, to, uh, received. Yes, this is two treatments um, and uh, about four four weeks apart. Mm -hmm. And this wow, is person that came. Really yeah, correct. Uh, this is someone who is like in the uh, late 40s uh, as well. And she, I think she got one, one treatment uh, of microneedling. Wow. So it really does depend on, on each person. You're like your body reacts differently, right? Yes. Everyone heals differently. And then uh, definitely is part of the genetic as well and how good, how well you take care of your skin. Uh, we have a post-care treatment plan for each person. And so they can use that. And, and some people do follow all the strict guidelines and, and, and do the treatment. Uh, you see improvement. Um, mm -hmm. This is uh, this is my mom. Oh, ah, hi, this mom. Is mom. <laughs> wow, she's, so she's <laughs> yeah, she's in her 70. Um, and see, she has more lines around her eyes. And she has, um, and you see that improve uh, vascularly. She did uh, so far three microneedling treatments. But um, I think this picture is after the second one. And you can see that the lines have much improved around the eyes um, wow, yeah. as well. And even the forehead, you can see that the number 11 had improved a lot. Oh, yeah. This is after two treatments? Yeah, not only that, you can see the lines. You can see that there seems like more uh, more firmness to your skin. You can actually feel the skin more thicker or uh, more um, alive. Uh -huh. um, and it, it does help with pigmentation as well and, and, and uh, in terms of the treatments. Wow, okay. Yeah. So you have, you like, you work on people of all ages, right? Not just. Yes. Um, correct. Uh, Microneedling can be done for uh, any skin type and all age group. And so we can do that um, for anyone even 20s or 70s or 80s, correct? And so wow. there, there's no, uh, definitely we can, it's everyone individualized in terms of uh, energy level and how we, we, we use the uh, microneedles. It's um, mm -hmm. um, some are more, um, more aggressive, the older, and some younger, you don't be as aggressive. And if it also depends on skin type. So right. this, this photo as well was um, after RF microneedling treatment? Uh, I believe so. This is, yeah, after water microneedling treatment, I think she also had a laser natural peel treatment, which is something mm. we do at, well, as well at our clinic. And that's a detox, clean the skin, and make it more uh, shiny and, and more 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 clean. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, only takes about 30 minutes to do, uh, simple and uh, very effective after one treatment. Wow, you can really um, tell the difference, like right here mm -hmm. on her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see a big yeah. difference there. Wow. I think she's in her, this is someone who in her mid 40s. Um, oh. So you can see that. The, when you notice that when someone is older, you can see, you see the improvement more vast and, and faster because you have more, uh, I would say, more to work with. And when you're someone younger, <laughs> you see. Right? Yeah, yeah, room for improvement. And so if someone uh, who's younger, you see a little subtle differences. But uh, it's also not only for the treatment of lines, but I think it's for prevention. So if let's say this person wants to keep the way her skin is for the next five years, perfect way to prevent her from getting worse. I mean, like, it would appear like she's 55, she would still look like she's more like in the 40s and 55. Uh, yeah. It's preventive as well as um, uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. So um, the next slide is a, a patient who went underwent a different treatment. Can you can you tell us what the treatment is yeah. or was? So in, in our practice, we have something called CO2 laser. It's a resurfacing laser treatment. Uh, and this person has something called CO2 laser treatment, as, uh, and it's basically a um, ablative laser treatment with very low downtime. So one or two, um, um, uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is the, the lady with a, a, a CO2 laser treatment, which is a, a blade laser treatment with a um, little longer downtime. She had one treatment, and you see the skin in terms of uh, lines improved, the color, uh, a lot of, she had a lot of pigmentation due to sun. She was a very uh, outside sun advocate worshiper and so her, her pigmentation improved a lot you see that also around her lips her lines are much improved and this is one laser treatment that we wow. can do in a clinic it's not uh, microneedling but it's uh, and someone with with this kind of um with more sun damage we say uh, i think she's also only in her mid 50s and so when she had a lot of sun damage outdoor for many years uh, you see that vast improvement one treatment this is actually only about 12 a uh, few weeks after after she had the treatment, she came in for a, a, a recheck. Mm -hmm. um, can you also work? Uh, okay, we have to talk. We we have to talk about the neck. We got to talk about the neck. Yeah. 
The neck is very important. <laughs> people, you know, you, like th sometimes um, people just pay attention to their face, even when they put on um, products. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't want to waste it. No, yeah, bỏ này cổ thì hơi uổng, you know. Then they yeah. totally ignore the neck. Um, right. But that's where you see people's age. You can, I mean, it really shows. And with me, yeah. I love to sit under the sun. So, no nhang với là nó có mấy cái spot, uh, you know. Absolutely. Um, like you said, um, the sun doesn't discriminate your skin anywhere. So, the, 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 as you see that in a lot of um, uh, Caucasian or someone who is lighter skin, you see the hands are very wrinkled and very a lot of pigmentation. The neck, the decollete, uh, also can be pigment from the sun. All those UV damage and aging. And yes, the, any treatment modality can be applied to the, the hands, the arms, or the back, or even on the neck. So oh. it's something that you can you can do. The treatment depends on the patient comfort and and what they want to do. Of course, if everyone has when they sunbathe, they're gonna show their skin. So those, those areas are all affected by sun. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a question. Uh, ha says, uh, "How often do we have to get a treatment?" Yeah, so for microneedling, we recommend about one every four to six weeks treatment. I, I usually do a series of three treatments um, that give you the best effect, and you can you can wait for six months or a year and 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 do maintenance treatments like uh, once every few months. Uh, you just want to can continue to prevent uh, further uh, worsening the skin by doing maintenance. But uh, it's one treatment is not going to give you what, you know, will give you some improvement, but not going to give you the full result you want. After three treatment, uh, you definitely see a big difference. Um, so it's uh, three treatments, once every four to six weeks. Okay, very good. And then, uh, like he said, it, it just depends on the person, on your skin. Uh, what do you use on, I, I okay, you're, you're going to get a C. You're going to get a C <laughs> for your English. Uh are you asking if I had cosmetic surgery on my face? No cosmetic surgery. No cosmetic surgery. In fact, the reason I know Dr. Kwa was because I saw that, um, by the way, they have a beautiful office, and I, uh, I'll give you the contact information later. Um, and I actually started talking to his wife when I saw the pictures and the videos of the treatments that they were giving there. And because I am a heavy sun worshiper i had a lot of spots nicola they uh it's getting a little lighter now i have a little makeup to cover it but i wanted to try to get rid of this really big spot here mm -hmm. and then lots of uh, fine lines lots of wrinkles everywhere that were really starting to show on my face and i had never done a laser facial before and i was you can tell them what a wimp web was. Was I not scared? I was so scared of the the micro needling. Yeah. How do you feel? You had an, we had a numbing oh, uh, cream I, that put on your skin, and you probably didn't feel anything. Or, or did you feel any pain? So, I was such a baby about this. I said, <laughs> "Numb me up. I don't it, because I know that if it hurts, I'll never ever do it again." Right. And so they put numbing cream on me, and you didn't feel anything. In yeah. fact, I had to. I had to keep on opening my eyes to make sure you were doing any work. Um, it, it, so it was not painful. And then, I how many times have I been in now? Four? Yeah, I think about four. Something minutes. like that? Mm -hmm. And the last time I came in, I said, you know what? Let's not, let's try it without the numbing cream. There be sometimes skin numbing cream. When it starts to wear off your face, feels kind of weird. If you're not used to it, it feels kind of weird. Mm. So I said, let's try it without it. And I was fine. I was fine. So, you're you know, in my you. head, it was a lot worse. <laughs> right. You can yeah, talk in a lot head, more than you think. Yeah. Um, but wait, to answer your question, no, no cosmetic surgery. No. Honey, I have a hard time with a flu shot. Um, <laughs> but I'm... I realize how important, you know, skincare is. And because I didn't do a very good job, you know, taking care of my skin. I didn't start using um, sunscreen on my face until I was 50. Oh, wow. Yes. And so now, now I'm like my mom, okay? My mom would cover her, her face 
and I'd make fun of her. Mm. Now mm. I go outside, I'm like this <laughs> because I know <laughs> how damaging the sun can be to your face. And so now I take it a little more seriously. So, um, oh, okay. So here's another uh, good question. Um, whoops, I got rid of her. Okay. Julie is asking, will your skin get burned and peel for a couple of weeks after each treatment? Yeah, for the micro, well, let me answer that question that you, I think there depends on the treatment. Um, the microneedling, uh, you do not get burned. Generally speaking is you might get a little red for about a couple hours. Uh, we usually, after treatment, uh, there's a post-treatment care, we apply a, a face mask, which is cool down the skin and also provide nutrients to help your skin heal uh, with the uh, with the chemicals involved in, in the face mask itself. Uh, and you, when you, you actually go out and do normal thing by the by, by a few hours after the treatment. No, no redness after about three hours. Uh, and you go back to normal thing without any restriction, um, uh, except for major exercise where you don't want to sweat too much. I uh, forget to mention that. For the uh, laser treatment, and it depends also on the laser, the, the natural pill laser is a clean detox. There's no downtime. You can go out. That's what people do before the activities. You go to a, 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 a war show or a, a party after the treatment, no problem. Um, but for the for the ablative laser treatment, where actually skin rejuvenation or we we, we actually uh, burn the first layer of skin, you appear red. Uh, we have two modalities. Treatment. One is uh, a lighter, uh, less uh, less uh, downtime. It's called cool peel, which only gives you about one to three days of redness. Whereas another treatment will, can be as long as uh, seven to ten days. So uh, that's a good question. Um, it all yeah. depends what treatment you have, and we have to consult see what skin. Um, uh, treatment you need based on your skin type and what skin damage you have as well. So everyone's individualized and everyone should be um, um, coming in to get at least a consultation to see what uh, they need before right. any treatment. Right. Uh, and I'm glad you said that because there's no one treatment for everybody. Everyone's different. Right. You cannot, you know, you can't say, oh, Lena got the um, cool peel laser. I want that that might mm -hmm. not be best for you. So it's, it's really, it has to be customized to your, um, to your own face and your own skin. Um, ha is asking a question. Is it okay for people who get laser treatment to expose themselves to the sun? Because as you know, it's very hard to avoid the sun in Vietnam. Can yes, you still do um, the laser treatment? We want to make sure you have adequate sunscreen. I think it's okay. As long as you have a good protection, um, uh, and mainly you're not going to be out there sunbathing. That's the most important thing. You don't want to do laser and then go out there sunbathing. You want you want at least a body to heal. It takes a, a month to heal sometimes. Uh, most laser we recommend not being in, in anywhere near the sun for a week or two, but uh, depends on, on the treatment modality as well. I think uh, with hat, with large hat and sunscreen, you're okay to be out going to Vietnam or going to a, a very, um, you know, um, country with a lot of sun like vietnam or, or asia um otherwise i, I think um, you shouldn't avoid like you know necessarily the really high underneath the tree all the time so it's just you still have to live your life there's no way to avoid the sun totally but uh, i think adequate sunscreen is very important uh, after treatment okay and and i'll i'll tell you i tried the cool peel thing and mm -hmm. um i think you said that you know expect a couple of days redness but it didn't even last that long you know, like the, any discomfort. And again, it's going to be different for different people. Mm -hmm. Um, like, uh, the first time I did it, I, I almost remember I told you, I said, are you sure you maybe do more <laughs> because I didn't really feel anything and, and it wasn't, you know, but I was really impressed with the results. This, yeah. by the way, this is not a paid advertisement. Yeah. This is not a commercial. They didn't pay to get on my channel. People have asked to get to pay to advertise on my channel. This is not a paid advertisement. When I first started, you know, looking at this stuff and, okay, I'm going to do it. I was a little skeptical. I had heard about laser facials and I really thought that it was just a fad, you know, and there are a lot of fads. Nyingma, I was really impressed at, um, at how they work. I mean, so that anyway, and a lot of people, I know a lot of Vietnamese ladies, I don't know, I have so many friends, my everyone can call me a uh, big dark spot. Yeah, on yeah, the big spot. 
Yeah. So I wanted to be able to share the things that you can do. When I go, ask a question, Nina. And I want to, uh, uh, like, what's the difference? Here it is. What is the difference between age spots and sun spots? Yeah, so uh, there, actually, the age spot can be related to the sun as well. It's basically part of genetics. Some people do get uh, pigmentation like freckles as genetic. So they appear like age spot. But uh, as you get older, you get these spots. But sun can be a uh, stimulator of those spots as well. Um, the sun spot, most people think there's like being sun damage, having um, um, vascular redness and if more uh, uh, dark uh, uh, lesion of skin that appear very... Um, uh, that you see as, as you're older. Uh, so they actually, they kind of, uh, there's they're a mixture of two. So it's hard to differentiate between the two, but uh, both involve aging and sun exposure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Julie is asking, do you have an office in San Jose? Julie, come down to Southern California. Um, and, and the second part of the question is, um, are the sunspots, suns, uh, treatments covered by insurance? And if not, is it affordable? Uh, definitely very affordable. Um, we'll, you know, most places will work with you on that, but it's not. It's considered cosmetic in most uh, in, in most treatment uh, uh, spa, so it's not covered. Um, actually, I, have, I do have a couple of clients from San Jose, so it's not too far to travel for some of them to come down. Actually, they, they flew down to treatment; they fly back the same day. So uh, one of the um, and that's uh, very commendable how they did that. But they heard about our place and they flew down to just get a treatment and flew back. Very nice. Oh, well, hold on a second. Yeah. Nếu mà Julie mà mua vé máy bay xuống đây đó, <laughs> are you gonna? Will you give her a discount like the Lena Win discount, the YouTube yeah. discount? Definitely, Julie, come down. We definitely give you a discount. Um, it's um, yeah. Julie, um, remember, yes. the, Julie, remember, Julie, <laughs> remember, Julie, if you call them, yeah. Tell okay. them, say it's the it's the Lena Win YouTube discount. We have on video, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Nigma, you know what? Now that we're talking about it, you can't. No uh, You yeah. can't just give the discount to Julie. No, no. Will you give it to other people if they actually say that they saw you on my YouTube channel? Yes, with uh, we have a Lena discount ready, so anybody okay. that would like to come in. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Okay. Um, the you know, come down, Julie. Come down, spend a day in in, in to visit your family here, and then and then you come back, and no one know that you have done anything actually. So it's a uh, um, okay. <laughs> easy to do. She's, she's giving you uh, she's giving you a, a lot of emojis. You invite uh, you, oh, you okay. might be her. So Andy Kwa is saying uh, yes. Wear fifty plus sunscreen. Reapply after a few hours, as long as you avoid direct sun exposure. It is all right to get um, laser treatments. And you know, make a treatment. Naya, it's actually very popular um, in Asia, in Southeast Asia. Like mm. Koreans love it. Yeah. Right. And and there, you just have to avoid the direct sun. I mean, avoid the chừng nào thì tốt, chừng đó thôi. Phải không? Yes. Nhưng mà it doesn't mean that you can't get it. In fact, last time I got it, I don't know if you remember, I went to Vietnam in um, Thai, and I went into your office and I got a treatment two mm -hmm. weeks before I went to Vietnam. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So did you, have any, I, you yeah. probably didn't have any side effects, did you? Did you have any side effects from that treatment? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, it, it was fine. Okay. Can the laser facial treatment remove melasma? Yeah, that's the, uh, the one of the um, tougher treatment. Uh, it's not guaranteed to remove melasma, but uh, there are different laser now that have improved a lot. Um, uh, we're in the process of using a new laser called Pico laser for, for melasma. Uh, definitely, it's, uh, it's one of the hardest things to treat is melasma because it involves both um, genetic and hormonal and sun um, and the different layer of, of melasma. So it's, you have to hit many layers of the skin to remove it. Uh, definitely, most people will have improvement, um, not 100% that will remove their melasma possibly, but it will help. Will you explain what, what that is for anyone who doesn't know, hasn't heard of it? Yeah, melasma is a pigmentation related to excessive uh, production of melanin, which is uh, one of the, the very important compounds in the skin. Melanin produced by melanocyte in the skin to help protect UV uh, um, radiation. So melasma is a shield, actually. So we all need, we all need uh, melanin. 
If we don't have melanin, we burn. So people who have less melanin will, will get sunburn easily. Just go out for an hour, you get burned. But mm. melanin protect you. So the dark you are, the less likely you get burned. So that's your body ability to defend itself. So even though we, we, we use treatment to remove the melanin, uh, eventually it may come back, we have more sun exposure because your body says, hey, we need to produce more melanin to protect you. You're going to sun. So when you use when treatment, you have to shoot, you protect yourself with sunscreen and, and avoid the sun so that you don't have uh, the melanin come back. It's, it's not something you can uh, be rid of entirely because it's always underneath. Uh, your body will produce more with time and with more exposure. Um, so is melasma, it's like, uh, like a lot of women sometimes like after childbirth will have it and it looks like yeah almost like patches of the right. brown, like instead of a brown spot is like patches. Mm -hmm. Is that Correct. what that is? Um, it can be a small, uh, uh, small area to big patches. Yes, it's mm -hmm. definitely hormonal and he, uh, women will get that. Uh, you see a lot of Asian women will have melasma compared to men uh, based on, on hormonal pregnancy, uh, menopause with, with change hormone could cause melasma uh, and of course a combination of that with the sun and very few and lucky even not in a, people not even in the sun will get melasma it's very mm -hmm. strange how some people are very lucky in that um, and uh, of course people say they use a um, and most people try to use as much sunscreen as possible still get melasma uh, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those uh, very hard to um, explain why for some mm -hmm. um, what is sunscreen you recommend for face what what is the SPF that people should be should be using on their face? Yeah, I think the most. Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Might be a bad um, internet connection. Maybe the doctor didn't pay his internet bill. Um. So we're now talking about the sunscreen, and actually, someone. Hey, Andy, do you have some kind of background in skincare? Are you a dermatologist, anything like that? Because you've got great answers to some of these questions. Um. But um, Andy was saying that yes, SPF fifty, and yes, LDAP MD is a good brand. Um. I uh, am using. First of all, I use a lot of different stuff because I love trying new products. I don't know why I just do. I love trying new products and um, I am trying something right now. I don't know the name, but it's um, from South Korea. It's a Korean brand. By the way, I love brands that are, uh, are Korean brand skincare. And there's a difference between sunscreens that are uh, Asian made sunscreens, like Korean made sunscreens and other sunscreens, because in Korea, I mean, they avoid the sun like it, like it's, you know, and so they wear it every day. So I find that the uh, Korean made sunscreens are like smooth, uh, more moisturizing, right? And um, the other sunscreen that I use here, like it dries or it just doesn't look good on his skin. So Nukla Maya, you know, ladies, you use sunscreen, then you want to put makeup on it. Then minimum, okay, sunscreen, nama. no moisturizing, no lamb, just smooth, no. So anyway, the doctor's back. The doctor's Sorry, not on his phone, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, something happened. Um, and I, I guess the computer went off. Okay, so we were talking about uh, sunscreen, SPF or different types of sunscreen. Do you have any recommendations? I think the, the, the at least you have to use SPF 50 or higher. The main thing is people don't use enough on the skin. They you, whatever you use, 60, 70, 80, but you have to apply enough at least. Uh, uh, um, a, I guess a more than just a pea size of, of, uh, of uh, amount that you use. So you apply all of your skin and reapply in about in about uh, a few hours later, at least twice a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, you weren't on when when I was talking about this, and mm -hmm. wonder what your thoughts are on this. I have found that. I prefer sunscreens that are like, um, like I'm right now using a sun sunscreen that's Korean made. Like mm -hmm. I really like Korean uh, skincare products because it seems more moisturizing. And it's like, because they use it over there daily, right? And then there are some, some sunscreens here mm -hmm. where people only really use it when they're going to go out and lay in the sun. That if you're using something for your face, um, I prefer stuff that that's just, better for your face you, you know yeah. what i mean mm -hmm. yeah the, the sunscreen is the, the most important thing is, is you know use it or not and then you can individualize what you want to use 
uh, their medical gray sunscreen that doesn't have all their the bells, the bells and whistle, no smell, no no extra perfume, things that make irritate the skin. Some people have very sensitive skin. You want to go with a medical gray sunscreen, and some people who can use anything uh, as long as you use something, it's it's more than nothing. That's that's the the, the bottom line, I think. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I like to not to use anything that has a lot of smell or anything that um, can can really um, kind of sticky or uh, irritate your skin. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any recommendations on who would be a good doctor in Orange County for these treatments? Hello, hello. So <laughs> yeah, he recommends himself. He recommends okay. himself. Actually, I recommend him. How about that? Um, I uh, I. I I've actually, I've gone through it. I've done it. So I can actually say that for me, it's worked. I'm really happy with it. Mm-hmm. I wish I would have done it sooner. And uh, I'm now a really big fan of, especially the laser facials. I just, I love them. And, you know, they're quick and you actually see a difference. It's not right. just your regular facial. So I, I you know, so, um, but, you know, hold on, hold on. Cause I made a screen. Because I knew someone would ask. I knew someone would ask. Hold on, Jay. There you go. By the way, they have a beautiful place in, is that Newport Beach? Is that considered Newport Beach? Yeah, it's right next to Fashion Island. So it is Newport Beach and Fashion okay. Island area. Mm-hmm. Right. You go shopping and then you go yeah. over here. <clears throat> um, so there's the phone number. I'm, I'm going to leave that up for a bit so that uh, if anyone wants to write it down. Oh, you know what? Let me put your... Um, Gayo, gay web address. Can I put that up there for yes. them? Okay. Sure. Dot. Let me see. Yeah, Beautylasersaesthetics.com. Laser. I, I, they're going to have to copy this down. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to have to copy this down. That's hard. That's a lot of spelling. You don't want to spell it wrong. Did I spell it right? Yes. Okay. Like you okay. Did. Yeah. Very good. So uh, that's the website if you um, if you want to find out more. Um, oh, okay. So Jay just jumped on, and because we were talking about San Jose, um, she thought that you were from San Jose. No, he is from uh, down there in Newport Beach, very like very close to Fashion Island, and um, and I've been there um, and have actually received the treatments myself and really really enjoyed them. So. Okay. Someone says, Lena, I totally agree. Korean sunscreen is the best. Works very well for me. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still, you know, I love trying new products. So that's what I'm on right now. How many types of laser treatments out there? And where can I find more information about these? Julie, a ton, right? There are different types of lasers and different types of laser treatments. They go from like the, the lighter stuff, right? To stuff that the downtime is going to be more. There's going to be a little bit more discomfort, but just like when you're investing in stocks, (laughs) if there's a doubt, there are bigs, there are up highs and down lows, you may see more um, results from it, right? So then that stuff in between. So um, I'm going to take that comment down so that you can see the website that I put there. If you want to um, go in and anyone who jumped on late, anyone who jumped on late, remember, you heard it here, so we'll have to hold them to it. (laughs) Go in and tell them you saw it on Lena Wynn's YouTube and he's going to have to give you some kind of discount. Okay. Absolutely. Guaranteed. Uh, (laughs) Guaranteed. Okay. (laughs) But book, but book. Um, All right. I am really... um, interested in telling people about not just the treatments, but other things that we can do to take care of our skin. And one of the ladies in your office, last time I was in there, you weren't there. So she did her treatment for me. Um, She's beautiful. She's actually known in the Vietnamese community because she's a, a singer. Can you tell us a little more about her? And then like, what treatments will she be able to do? Well, you, we talk about Kathleen uh, Wynn. She's uh, or Kathleen as a singer. Um, she uh, is an RN. She's a registered nurse. Uh, she's well uh, versed in all treatments. She does all the things that I do. 
uh, and some of them she does it even better than I do. Uh, especially <laughs> talking about, <laughs> especially talking about skincare. Uh, being a woman, I think she has a very a passion to talk about skincare. Um, she very knowledgeable in that field. Uh, I, I think I would rec rec definitely recommend if you have questions regarding skincare, uh, what product you use, uh, how to use it. Uh, and we have products in the office as well that she, uh, that she will be able to talk to you more about that. Uh, in terms of uh, laser treatment, uh, microneedling we talked about earlier, uh, uh, Kathleen can do all that um, as, a, as a, a registered nurse or a licensed provider. She can mm -hmm. she able to do that. Great. Um, and so it's also important to mention that everyone in the office, if, if they're working on you, they're um, a registered nurse or they are licensed like medical professionals right. to do this. You... Right. And I, depending on where you are, I know that there are people who are not doing it correctly. Nyingma, when yeah. you're dealing with something like lasers and your face, please find someone who is licensed and who is good at what mm -hmm. they're doing, who's not going to damage you, right? So Absolutely. I'm going to, I would love to bring Kathleen on the show. She's so cute and, and beautiful, but also so not just beautiful, but she's cute. And, um, incredible skin of course i expect that mm -hmm. since she's working in your office um and i'd like to bring her on so we can talk about things like you know like routine skin care like Absolutely. how how to keep it you know the maintenance so that you don't have to get the really invasive stuff done on your face so right. okay Absolutely. um anyone who jumped on late i'm just going to go through some of these um uh photos that we showed earlier on so we talked about the RF microneedling, and here are actual photos of actual patients um, from Dr. Kwa's office. Um, this woman is either just one or two treatments. Okay, I'm gonna go big so you can see it here. And I mean, you can see a difference. And this is how you know, okay? Don't be fooled by the before and after picture where the expression on the face is different. You, you got to have the same expression when you take the picture. Uh, and look at that. Um, yeah, definitely we do before and after picture for any patients. And so that a lot of people will not be to see differences by themselves. They look in the mirror because day to day you don't see difference. But a month apart is a definitely right. a, a big, big change that you can see it. Yeah. No, you and, are absolutely right about that. Look at these. There's mom. What a big difference around her eyes. Correct. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and again, you know, they've got people from, you know, in their 70s doing it down to the people, girls in their 20s, 30s. Um, so, okay. Uh, we are actually out of time. Thank you, Dr. Kwa, for coming on here and, and, and talking about these treatments. I can't wait to bring Kathleen on. And, um, Kathleen will also, someone says, let's talk about nutrition. We're going to talk about all of that. We're going to talk about all of that, right? So we're going to give you other information because what if you can't afford a treatment? What if you're not able to go and get these things? Well, we're going to give you some information about what you can do at home, the things you can do at home to help your skin um, look a little nicer, kind of try to fight that aging process. So, okay, Dr. Kwa, you were great. I don't know why you were nervous. You were great. You were <laughs> Thank great. you, Lena, for having me on. It's uh, been a pleasure. And uh, yeah. It's, it's... They love you. <laughs> they love you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, much. thank you. And thank you everyone great. for watching. Uh, remember, we are going to get Kathleen on the show. We'll do some more beauty and skincare and nutrition great. and all that stuff she'll be, so be excited to do that yeah yeah she'll be great too and then next monday we're gonna talk finances that's right we're gonna talk money let's go make some money we're gonna use that money and make ourselves look younger <laughs> <laughs> happy new year dr Kwa. happy new year everybody happy new year everybody happy new year <laughs> Lena. thank you so much that was great yeah, really nice. Thank you.